Hi everyone, my name's Kat Muir from Cheap and Easy Eats and today we're going to be doing trifles in a jar. Hi everyone, today we're going to be making sherry trifle but we're going to do them in little jam jars because it will keep them lasting a little bit longer in your fridge, they'll last for up to a week like that and it's just a simpler way I think to do it. I'm saying I think because I haven't actually ever made them in jars before, usually I make like a big giant trifle, I make a sherry trifle normally at Christmas or if I've got some friends coming round I do that as a dessert and it's so delicious and in the supermarket when you buy a trifle it costs a lot of money for a tiny tiny little trifle and actually you can make one that will easily have nine portions for a fraction of the cost and you know what's going into it as well. So the easiest way to do it, we don't really need an awful lot of things, we're going to use a jelly we're going to use some sherry. If you're going to make it for children, then obviously don't put the sherry in. But a sherry trifle for me, it takes me back to when I was a kid. And I don't know why uh, my gran used to like sherry. My mum always had a little glass of sherry. That was their tipple at night. It's quite old lady kind of drink. But I think because when I was a child, I was always smelling it and my gran always used to put some sherry in the trifle so as a child I was eating it so I find it quite a, a homely experience to have a bit of sherry trifle. So if you're doing it for kids don't put the sherry in, just do everything else. Uh, if you're doing it for the adults then a little bit of sherry just gives it a really nice flavour. So I'm going to use a raspberry jelly because raspberry is quite a nice traditional flavour. Strawberry jelly can be a little bit too harsh and the other flavours don't always go with everything. So raspberry jelly is quite nice. And you can actually put some raspberries in if you like. I tend to not enjoy the texture of fruit and jelly, so I don't do that, but I, I know a lot of people do like fresh fruit in a jelly, so you could do that. We're gonna have, I've bought a jam, roly-poly, a swish roll and I can make them but just for for quick and easiness uh, I just bought one and if you get one that's just plain jam. If you're going to make the sponge it's just a plain, very plain sponge, it's not like a heavy buttery one and we'll do a Swiss roll video later in the series but actually it's something like 30 pence or 39 pence I think for this little Swiss roll. Um, it just has a jam in it. If you have the one with cream it doesn't taste good in the trifle so you only want the one that has the raspberry jam filling and the sponge itself is, is a very very light sponge. It doesn't really have a lot of flavour so if you put something like sherry into it then it, it absorbs the flavour. So we need jelly, we need a swish roll, we need double cream. Now sometimes people use whipping cream because it's a bit cheaper but actually it's a very thin kind of cream. To make this you really want to have double cream. You don't need the extra thick double cream but double cream is definitely the thing to whip up and, and it just makes it really nice. And then we need some custard. Now it's very easy to make custard actually and when I've been making meringues and I have egg yolks left over I make custard. I haven't made some meringues just yet so I don't have any egg yolks so I'm just going to use a tin of custard. And that way, if you've got people coming over, you can keep a jelly in your cupboard, you can keep a tin of custard in your cupboard. All you really need to do is go out and buy some cream for the top and it's so, it's so easy. Even the, the Swiss roll lasts for about six months. So it's quite nice sometimes just to have things in the cupboard that if someone phones you up and says, oh hey, I was thinking about coming over to see you, you can go, oh yeah, that's great. And you can just start straight away to do that. So this is quite simple, quite easy. Doesn't cost an awful lot of money. It's certainly a lot cheaper than buying a trifle in the shop. So I'm going to do the jelly first of all. Making a jelly is actually really easy and simple. I used to get mixed up with it when I was younger because I would read the, the instructions on the jelly packet and it took forever. Boiling water, stirring it round, melting it all down. I have a really simple, quick, easy way to do it. So I'm going to take my packet of jelly. I prefer using the jelly cubes 
I don't know why, I don't really like using the crystals. Uh, the jelly cubes just seem so much easier to me. So I'm just going to break it into the actual cubes. Now jelly of course contains gelatin. It's, it's difficult, I haven't found any vegetarian or vegan jellies. So if you're a vegetarian you have to be aware and you would probably need to make your jelly up yourself with a vegetarian gelatin sachet and some fruit. All I'm going to do is put a tiny amount of water, and I mean a tiny amount of water, in with the jelly. So, I'll let you see that. It's just literally a little tiny dribble of water. I'm going to put it in the microwave on full power for one minute. So we've had one minute at full power in the microwave and it's completely dissolved. So you can see there, that's it. It's absolutely beautiful, completely liquid. There's no lumps to stir out. And then all we're going to do now is just add some water. Now, normally for that kind of jelly, you make a pint of it. I like to go just under the pint because I don't like it too soft when it's set as a jelly. So I usually just put in enough water to take me just under a pint, which is about 500 mils, or just a little bit less. Now usually I would make it in a large bowl and I would chop a Swiss roll into nine pieces and just put them all round. And then I would add the sherry into the, into the sponge so it soaks it up. Because if you put sherry in the jelly, you, don't, you lose the flavor of it. And I found that the best way of years of trial and error is to actually just let the sherry soak into the sponge once it's in the container that you're gonna make it in. So I'm gonna put this to one side now. That's so easy. So if you're just doing a jelly, that's all we do, just put it into a Pyrex dish, put in your cubes, microwave for one minute on full power, and then add your water to bring it up to just under a pint. And, and that's it, easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I'm gonna put this here just now. So what I'm gonna to attempt to do is, I'm gonna fill these jam jars with the sponge. Now I haven't ever done this before and I was kind of measuring it and the sponge is just a little bit larger than the jam jar circumference. I'm going to do as evenly sliced pieces as I can and I'm going to put them in the jars. These jars are olive jars. We went, you know, we went through a phase of trying out some olives and we quite liked them. And then I thought they were quite nice little jars. I was going to keep them for making jam or some kind of sauce or something like that. And then I thought, oh, trifles in a jar. And the reason I thought about putting it in jars is because when I make a trifle in a large bowl, then you just do want to eat it because it'll go off in a few days because you can't really cover it up. And, and keep it airtight. You know, you can put some cling film around it, but it's still, you know, it's not really that airtight. And I thought if it's in jam jars, you can just put the lid on and leave it and then it is airtight. So I'm just gonna poke the sponge down a little bit. So that looks really nice, actually. They look really pretty in the jars. Really pretty. So again, you can miss this step out. If, if you're doing it for children, but if you're doing it for some adults, uh, you can put in sherry or brandy or port. You don't need an awful lot. I'm going to put it in here so that I can pour it a little bit easier. If you've got a steadier hand, you can just pour it from the bottle. You just want to really get it into the into the sponge, really let it soak into the sponge. And that's where all the flavor comes from. Now, you want it to absorb into the sponge because if it doesn't, then it'll water down your jelly and dilute it. And I don't really drink a lot of alcohol, but I do like to use red wine and white wine when I'm cooking things. Uh, I feel the flavor, because of course, when you're cooking things in heat, all the alcohol is, is burnt off. 
so you don't have any alcohol so if you use it to make a nice gravy it's burnt off but if you're doing it in this all the alcohol is definitely still there but it's it's not an awful lot and if you find there's some round there that hasn't that's just sitting in the bottom of the jar just push your sponge into it a little bit more so it absorbs all the alcohol and because it's a sponge it will just suck it up into it if you give it enough time and even some of my friends who um, who would buy trifles at Christmas time you know they were spending like five or six pounds on a trifle which didn't really taste that great wasn't really that healthy and certainly didn't have any alcohol in it <laughs> And, um, and you know, I would say to them, well, why don't you just make one? And when I talked them through the process of making it, they couldn't believe how simple it was. And now they just make trifles. They don't, they don't buy them anymore. Okay, so now that you've done that, and that sherry's absorbed into sponge, you just want to give it like a couple of minutes to really sort of absorb in. Just check that there isn't any leftover. Whether you make it in a big dish or whether you do it as jam jars, just make sure that it's all absorbed in. And then we're just gonna put our jelly in. So that's so lovely and dissolved. And of course, the jelly won't set until you put it in the fridge. But now you can just pour that jelly in to each of the jam jars. It looks really pretty from here. You know, the Swiss roll has that lovely swirly pattern. Because it's nice when food looks nice as well. You know, I think that's that's a big part of it is when it looks nice and it smells nice, then, you know, it's, it's going to taste good. It sort of adds to the whole pleasure of food. So I want to leave some space for the custard and the cream. You just want to get them fairly even, probably about the halfway mark. And then that gives you enough room to put the custard and the cream on too and close the lid. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lids on. I'm going to put them in the fridge. And doesn't that look pretty? Just when you see it like that, even just through the jar, you see the colours and everything mixing. And once the jelly's set in the fridge, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do the custard and the cream. Once this is all set, we'll come back and finish off our jellies. So we're finishing off the trifles in a jar and we let them sit overnight because by the time we finished doing them yesterday, it was quite late and we had a lot of other stuff to do. So we let them sit overnight and they're, they're lovely and firm now. They look really pretty and we're going to just add custard and cream to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whip up the double cream first and let it chill in the fridge just for a few minutes while I put the custard on top of the, the jars. I'm just going to open up my tin of custard. Now you know you can get low fat custard, this is the full fat one, but you can get low fat custard as well. Um, you can make your own one and actually when I've made meringues and I've got some egg yolks left over I usually make my own custard but it's just it's really handy if you've just got it um, in the cupboard I mean this stuff lasts for a long time and you know and it tastes nice on a trifle and it's just easy if you've got people coming around you don't expect you can just go in make these up. So now I'm going to do is just put a little bit of custard in and for me it's always a, a trifle a trifle with a bit of custard under the cream but they're really handy you know I mean you can take them to work you put them in a lunchbox you've made it it tastes better than a lot of the shop bought ones and that's the thing, you know, like one of my friends, she would always buy a trifle if people were coming round and it cost her a fair bit of money. But to make a large trifle that's enough for about nine people or nine little jars of this, it's only really costing you about £2.50. It doesn't cost very much. Whereas you buy like a little tiny trifle and it costs about £5 does maybe four people or even the little individual ones um, 
you know, they used to cost, they were about a pound a trifle. But I think it's just the thing where you've made it, you know, like when my friends come round and I've cooked for them, they feel something like really special. Uh, it's just that kind of thing where, oh, you cooked for us, oh, you didn't need to go to any trouble, you know, and, and they feel that it's, it's actually something really nice and caring and loving. And I think there's a lot of that with cooking, when you cook something, when you make it from scratch, when you go and find out a recipe and you make it, even if it's not the best, or even if it hasn't worked out great, because you've made that effort, I think people feel really cared for and, and they enjoy that. So, you know, I enjoy doing that. So that's my custard in, all my little pots. And I'm just gonna give a quick tidy up and then I'll get the cream out to finish. So the cream's been chilling in the fridge for about 10 minutes and you can see that it's solid, it's just solidified that little bit more. So it's just perfect for us now. And all I'm gonna do is just take a little dollop of cream and put it on each one. And because the cream's a little bit denser than the custard, you can't really like spread it around. So you just need to put a little dollop in. There's something very relaxing about cooking food. You know, I know some people like to have friends there while they're cooking and, and chat and everything. But I, I find it's quite nice just cooking food on my own. I'm thinking in my head about all different things that I like to do. And, you know, and it's quite a, a sort of meditative state. I find sometimes just, just cooking. I enjoy the finished result. I really enjoy it when people taste it and they enjoy what I've made. So these little trifles will last in the fridge if they don't get eaten for round about five or six days. Um, they're going to be airtight because you've got a lid on them so you don't need to faff about with anything like that. I've got a flake, I'm going to put a little bit of chocolate, crumbled chocolate on the top just for appearance sake. It doesn't really do much with the flavour but it just makes it look pretty. It's just 300 mils is a perfect amount for what we're doing today. So these are the quantities that I use for a large trifle, which I can always make if anybody wants to see that. So now all I'm going to do is just put some chocolate on the top, then I'll put the lids on and I'll put them back in the fridge. So you can either grate the chocolate in the smallest grating setting or you can just mash up a flake. Just put some little bits on the top and it's just a really nice little touch just to finish it off. So you can see they look gorgeous, they taste gorgeous. You can just start putting the lids on them and put them back into the fridge. And I'm just going to I'm just going to have a taste of one. Mmm. <laughs> oh. It's so delicious. It's so tasty. Just you can taste the bit of sherry, the flavor of the jelly. The cream, the custard. Mm. It's absolutely perfect. <laughs> I'm going to finish this later on. It's absolutely delicious. So, cheap and easy ways to make trifle. <laughs> They'll last your family, you can give them to your kids. Without the sherry, of course. And it'll do you for our little lunch boxes. Or just whenever you just feel like you want a little bit of a trifle. So I hope you've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed making it today. And if you want to see a full size trifle, just let me know in the comments and I'll do one of them. Thanks very much. Bye.